oh, Halo Infinite was going to have microtransactions, considering that every big game has them now. Having microtransactions is a thing that most games now do, and it's referring to something that we're going to have to live with for the rest of eternity. We can blame EA for the advent of microtransactions in FIFA 11. In the FIFA games, they're the ones who invented loot boxes and microtransactions. And full price games. We can blame them for that. But here if it is voice no voice of concern over here if it is armor coins. Here we in this unveiled a brand new armor coin system that's coming to Halo Infinite in a way point blogger later this week. First drawn from the controversy to say at least. What's the whole fuss about? A seven way to say that allows you to put any artist out for color, material, pad, and seven towers apply to any game item with equipment, armor, and vehicles. This new system, like the car race and materials and patterns, will now be baked into the core and taking place the primary armor um, secondary customization in the games. And as well as fans have been taking the social media to express their displeasure. So, and as I'm taking people free industry to say we can say the decision to get, get bring back to you with no way. The customization of the head of Infinite's release. And yes, they are aware that some people are disappointed by the decision and explain that the movie away from the core old code of decisions will go. Move forward. Move forward. While we understand many players have followed the previous code decision system, we're very excited about the breadth and scope of the armor, weapon, and vehicle customizations that offers that, that will be in here if it is because of the coding system. And yes, the, and this is the thing that people were angry at. That some of the customization efforts in coding, codings will be offered as bike transactions and all kinds of things to be in-game on the game as special awards and new codes will be allowed for other player play expressing. We're not saying around and figure ways to take fake taking ways for players. No developer is we will consider a building systems that will allow for player play expressing. That is quite a tough call in this case, but we're, but we're excited by systems overall potential. And yep, that means Hail if it will have Little armor, little colors right behind here. But yeah, build a game with, yeah, I think that he, that they should really build the game what they want to play. Okay, this is the old Halo fans, they all complain about this. If they want to make the most expressive, customizable Halo they want, they can. It's their game, not our game. If you, yeah, if you really want to have the old color coding, let's play the older Halo games on the Master Chief Collection, which will be, which will able to be played as well. As well, here. You know. Yeah, this guy is correct, yo. While well, I'm usually thinking about being pure artists or do with a base, I'm going to say I should go in the opposite direction. Build a game what they want to build. Make it as good as they can as long as the physics is close cool, as they totally realize as possible. They do not put any more information out until it's ready. Ready to say it's always present where they have it. Too many gave it, gave it, think they know better than devs, and they, and they, if they had a way, nothing would ever change. Let's look at the Sonic fan. Let's look at the Sonic game series. Sonic is a perfect example. If gamers had it, of gamers gained away, Sonic is basically like, yeah, Sonic is kind of in an identity crisis as a whole, as a franchise, because of fans who want the old Sonic games and fans who want the 3D Sonic games. So, you can't, it'd be very hard to please both, so they keep trying to put, put these mismatched hybrid Sonic games in, it just doesn't work. I like the games, but it, it, the fan reception is this I'm talking about now. Unfortunately, I think FIFA 3 is feeling the pressure here, but if they don't deliver it now, there will be serious repercussions for Vayne to sue you that isn't going to get the best out of people. And yeah. Maybe not what well, people basically complain about this. I love Halo, so I'll play Halo. So I record our record a day, and coach people for no choice over the planet. And yeah. Here you go, Halo fans can't be pleased no matter what. They didn't confirm Halo, Halo Infinite $70, it's still $60 according to Amazon. But yeah, Halo fan base is basically like the Sonic fan base. They'll complain about anything new. Like, yes, they should bring back split screen. That's so, that's different than the armor codings, okay? If they bring back split screen, I think everybody will like Halo again, okay? That's the reason I didn't like Halo 5, is that you couldn't play on split screen, you could only play on wine. On wine can only get you to, and yeah, every. And yeah, but you play Overwatch, and Overwatch is all right, Ori. But there's a difference between Halo and Overwatch. Overwatch is a new IP. The developers can do what they want. Halo is an established IP, and you're moving something that made Halo so great. It's like kind of like making the next Smash Bros. game, but you can't play. You can't. You can only play Smash Bros. online. That's basically what Halo Five is. Okay, now, or you know the. 
because Bass Bros is known for, you know, college multiplayer like Halo. It is known for being an offline party game. I'm surprised that Halo is not included in the offline party, though, is in the party game list, because it's the most popular. Well, it used to be the most popular, but now it isn't really anymore. Halo isn't even the most popular games anymore. It used to be, but it isn't anymore. So, could Halo Infinite revive Halo? But again, they'll have. I bet it will probably will. All the old Halo fans will not play it, but it will kind of be like you know how the Pokemon fan, how we Pokemon fans with boycott Sword and Shield. It will be a tiny boycott that won't work. And yeah, the Halo Infinite is probably be the probably be a pretty good Halo, but at least be better than Halo Five and Halo Four. So that's basically it. Goodbye.